On today's video, you will discover how to create a splashed color effect on your gourds using Gourd Master products. It's similar to the effect you get with alcohol inks, but with extra benefits. I'm using a 5 inch pre cut craft ready oil lamp, which has been pre drilled and also sanded from the bottom so it sits straight. The first step is conditioning your gourd using Gourdmaster Formula 49. Using a cotton round, I am applying the solution over the entire surface of the gourd. With the heat tool, I'm heat setting until the formula is slightly moist. I will be using the following transparent acrylics. Cordoban, red wine, poppy, and burnt yellow. I'm just pouring each color into my mixing palette on the same order that they will be applied onto the gourd. With the cotton round, I'm applying the color onto my gourd. When you apply the second color, leave a small space between the first and second application. With the clean cotton round, gently blend the two colors together. The extraordinary thing about transparent acrylics is that they have a moderate drying time, which allows you to play with them and blend your colors together, something you couldn't do using alcohol-based inks. Now it's time to create the splatter effect. The magic trick is Formula 49 and a mini mister. Make sure you spray the first mist on a paper towel, since you might get a big splatter. When you add too much formula, you will not get the same effect. From approximately 14 inches away, mist the formula onto the wet transparent acrylics. In order to get this effect, your color must be completely wet. Make sure you don't miss too much formula, because if you do, when you heat set the colors, it will just run and blend together. Continue to follow the same steps on the rest of the gourd, starting with the base coat of Formula 49. Transparent acrylics are water-based, which allows you to blend the colors together, even after they've been dried, something you cannot do with alcohol-based products. Unlike alcohol inks, transparent acrylics are fade resistant and will not fade when exposed to the sun. When finished, it's time to permanently seal the gourd. Before you seal the gourd, you must let the gourd completely cool down to avoid removing color off your gourd. I will seal this gourd using Gourdmaster varnish and gloss. With the sponge applicator, I'm applying a very small amount of varnish onto my gourd. Gently dab the varnish over the entire surface of the gourd. Avoid dragging the varnish since that may cause the color to smear. The varnish dries very quickly. When done, simply insert the oil lamp insert into your canteen gourd and you're all done. I will create another sample using different colors. Now I'm using a mini vase, which has been created from the top of a bottle shaped gourd. I will continue to follow the same steps such as conditioning my gourd with Formula 49. Now I will be using the following transparent acrylics. Aquamarine, Azure, Royal Purple, and Wild Rose. Continue to follow the same steps that I previously demonstrated. It's a good idea when you missed your formula to wait a couple of seconds until you see the splatter effect, since you don't see it instantly. If you keep on spraying, 
you may spray too much formula and you will not get the same effect. When the transparent acrylics are dry, they lose their shine and take a dull appearance. Don't worry, once they're sealed, the shininess and vibrant color will come back. To seal the interior of my gourd, I will create a special mixture using gourd varnish and gloss. I will add a couple of drops of the grape transparent acrylic. Two full scoops of yellow gold pigment powder. If you want it more sparkly, you may add more scoops. Mix thoroughly with the palette knife. With the brush, paint the interior of the gourd. The gourd varnish creates the perfect medium to seal the interior of your gourds. It avoids having the transparent acrylics look too dark, which is what happens when they are applied directly to the highly porous interior surface of the gourd. I would like to show you this alternative sample I created using a gourd bowl and an image from the pre-printed Stick and Burn Native Southwest. On this one, the splatter effect looks much different. I would like to mention that each gourd shell reacts differently since some gourds are much drier than others. Here are close-up images of the three different splash gourds I created. And now that you've learned the technique, try it and have fun! Products can be purchased at www.wilburngordfarm.com